Anthony Nolan Avalos was just not my nephew. He was like a son to me. I watched him come into this world. I still remember the day he was born and how long it took for him to come out. Heather pushed and pushed, but he just wouldn't come out. And when he finally made his appearance, he was the most handsome little boy I have ever met. At the time, I already had three daughters, two nieces. Anthony was the first boy born into our family. We were all very excited and happy to welcome him into this world. He had a loving family, a loving mother, a loving dad. Anthony and my daughter, Melanie, were only four months apart. So I watched him do everything together. When she started crawling, he was right behind her. When she started walking, he was chasing after her. So many birthdays, so much time spent with him. All those smiles, all the laughter, all the I love you, Auntie Maria. Can I come to your house? Can I stay with you? It was always a yes. It was always a yes, because I loved him so much. He made my world a better place. The day that I received the phone call, it was one of the most difficult times of my life. I was so worried of what was happening to Anthony, but at the same time, I was excited because I thought to myself, he's in the hospital, he's fine. After three years, I finally get to see him. The day we called DCFS to turn in Heather and Kareem for child abuse, we had the kids for a few weeks. I promised Anthony that nothing would ever happen to him again. I promised him that we were going to be his new family and that he was going to be safe. I promised Destiny. I promised Angel. I promised Junior that nobody would ever hurt them again. I told them that no monsters will ever hurt them. I reached out to the Osuna family. I reached out to the Avalos family. I reached out to the Garcia family and I told every single one what was going on. I asked for help. I begged everyone to help. DCFS gave the kids back and Heather closed that door. We were no longer able to see the kids. I watched my four babies grow up. I celebrated their birthdays. I took care of them. I was there for seven years of Anthony's life unconditionally, making sure he went to school. Not just him, Destiny, taking care of Junior and baby Angel. I was there for it all. I didn't only lose Anthony, I lost my niece. I lost my nephews and I lost a sister because Heather was my sister and at one point my best friend, the person I went for advice to, the person I talked to and let all my worries out. So today, Your Honor, I beg of you to please Give them the maximum penalty allowed. Don't let them ever walk free. I will never get to see Anthony again. I will never get to have all my kids with their cousins. Life is never the same. And I apologize to all my nieces and nephews. I never knew that Kareem was an evil person. I never thought that this would be possible. I never thought that my life would change forever. 
The day I lost Anthony, I lost a part of myself. The fun, loving mom that I was, I was no longer there. My kids had to endure so much suffering because their mom was not capable of taking care of them. My daughter, Melanie, was 10 years old when her cousin died and she stepped up and took that role. She helped fill the void. She was the one getting up, making her sure her younger siblings were ready for school. Every day that I watch my kids, that I watch their friends at school play sports, I always picture Anthony. Everyone in California City knows about Anthony. Every year they sing to him for his birthday. They carry around bracelets in his honor. Anthony was a true hero. And thanks to his sacrifice, his siblings were saved. And they can have a better life now. Life will truly never be the same. A part of us will always be missing Anthony. And no amount of time will ever take that away. Yes, today we will get some kind of justice for Anthony, but he will never come back. We will never get to see our baby boy again. I will never get to see, hear him say, Auntie Maria, I love you. I will never get to watch him become a young, amazing man. He wanted to be... He wanted to join the military. He wanted to join the army just like his uncle David. He wanted to become a police officer or a firefighter. Heather, you took his dreams and hopes away. You were supposed to be his protector. You once told me that you would never be like Pearl Fernandez. I remember that day we sat there talking about Gabriel Fernandez and how those horrible monsters took that young child's life. And I remember you telling me you would never be like Pearl Fernandez. Guess what? You're just like her. Even worse. You tortured your kids. You failed your kids. And because of you, our family is broken. Slowly but surely the puzzle pieces will come together again, but it will never be the same. Heather, I loved you so much. I loved you so much and always saw the best in you. But today, I have nothing but hate for you. I will never hate someone as much as I do you because you failed Anthony you failed destiny you failed junior you failed angel and you could never be forgiven Kareem you'll get what's coming to you nobody likes a child abuser how can a big strong guy Beat up a 10-year-old child. It doesn't make any sense. It will never make sense. Anthony could have never done anything to receive that kind of punishment or treatment. I hope you both rot in hell. I hope that every day you regret what you did. And every time you take a bite of food, you think of how you starved your children. How you starved Anthony. Nothing will ever take away this pain. But we will keep Anthony's memory alive. I will always remember his laughter, all the pictures, all the memories, all the birthday celebrations, all the, his favorite holiday, Halloween, dressing up as Batman, Spider-Man. I will always remember the good times with my baby boy. And he knows that I love him dearly. And I will never forget him. Thank you. Thank you.